Yeah. All right. That's not black. I'm concrete. He concrete. He concrete. Just put it right here. What's going on, CB? Remember when we had Lynn Raw? I'm pregnant. Damn, we barely have enough money to go around as it is. I downloaded that new app, Baby or No. And it says it right here. You prego. <laughs> Low Atticus, you need to man up and get a damn job. Or else I'm going to find me a sugar daddy on oldtimer.com. You know my employment prospects are dubious at best, and nobody told you to stop looking for men with money. I got $4 to my name, and I, the U.S. government, three of them. Ugh! So you keeping it? Yes. It's my body, and I want to keep it. It's mine, ain't it? Don't nobody say anything about those little CDs you collect and take up space with. Nobody uses CDs no more etiquette. Block Keisha. You know that's not the same thing. Plus, I keep them for sentimental value. Whatever! Damn, you were about to bring a kid into the world with limited options. College? Maybe. Proper nutrition? Maybe. Traditional household structure? Probably not. And possibility of reaching upper middle class life is dubious at best. So just kill life? My role models growing up were crackheads and the dude selling socks by the liquor store. So what's your point? You should have been aborted. Hell yeah! They don't put in the orphanage. <laughs> Fuck out of here, <laughs> Interior bar evening. <laughs> Nearby, a bar is full of people during happy hour. Business professionals <laughs> drink together after a long day at the office. First dates ordered. First dates ordered entrees. What waitresses took greasy, unhealthy plates full of food and beer to their prospective tables. Among the bar, two men sat drinking and discussing issues. Atticus and Mike were very stressed and deep very into their stressed. conversation. So what you gonna do? Yeah, I have no idea. How did it happen, man? I thought y'all were being safe. Well, I was super drunk, and one thing led to another, and the next thing I know, I got her pregnant. The fuck? <laughs> next thing you know, I got my old eyes closed shooting a full clip. Why in the hell would you put yourself in that situation? Too late. She's super pregnant. She sent me a text last night saying, baby needs a new pair of shoes. Some J's, maybe it's some Adidas's, Hirachis, I don't know. My nigga, you have no marketable skills. You have a criminal record full of petty crimes. And you won't be able to pass a drug test since you like just blaze and snort cocaine. Well, that's why I want to talk to you today. These bills are piling up, but I think I have a plan for money. That ain't my goddamn problem, but let me guess. Cryptocurrency? Or is it a pyramid scheme? I buy some, give it to my partners, become a pastor. How does an almost unemployable man make money to support himself? His his girl, his kind of girlfriend, and a baby on the way. Even better, robbing a bank. Yeah, Genius, right? <laughs> Who's is robbing banks anymore? I've got it all planned out. I'm Fuck a pioneer, bro. Out of here. <laughs> Listen, check this out. I've been working on my theft game. <laughs> I robbed a beauty supply store, stole crown wigs, disguise materials, and general beauty products, including scalp care and skin exfoliants. Just because I'm a man doesn't mean I don't have to take care of myself. My dude, when did this happen? I robbed it two hours ago. Wow. What is wrong with you, man? Don't you know how dangerous that is? These places have guns, and now they will shoot back. Plus, the government just passed the Shoot When You're Scared Act. <laughs> the Shoot When you Scare Act. There's not the type of comment you want for that. Wow, crazy dangerous. Some of these places shoot back. Come on now. I didn't rob them with a gun. I just talked to the cashier lady, talking that straight bubble gun there. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm a true player, you know that? Then kablam, we in the bathroom making love faces. <laughs> Damn, you a savage. Right, I bought some toy guns, we were in disguises, go to the bank, I get the money, you drive the getaway car, profit. That's even the plan a little, but but these student loans are stacking up, my dude. <laughs> Atticus and Mike paid for their drinks and left the bar. They went their separate ways and went home. Outside, on a beautiful morning day, 
Mike sat in the driver's seat of an electric car with an Uber and Lyft logo on the windshield. In the back seat, Atticus is prepared to pull off the heist. Atticus is wearing a hoodie and has a bag with a dollar sign on it. So wait, how are you planning to avoid the security guard shooting you? That's part of my brilliant, brilliant plan, man. I just hope I don't get shot. Atticus runs to the bank. He casually walks into the bank and slips the manager a note. The note reads, this is a pilf- This is a pilfering of your facility's goods. Sir, what does this mean? Did you write this note using dictionary.com? Listen, I don't need commentary about bank robbery note grammar. You probably cannot read well. I'm guessing you read at a middle school level. Hence, you have no other option besides resorting to robbing a bank. <clears throat> wow, you were talking a lot of shit right now. Are you how the how the rob a bank police going to give me a ticket? I mean, do you even have a gun? Or you have an implied firearm? Um, that's not important. <laughs> Just shut up and take me to the money. It's insured anyway. Whatever with your non-bank robbing. <laughs> I'll discard the police after all of this to save you the embarrassment of complete failure. You'll make it a block before you get caught instead getting shot by our security guards. This is totally unbelievable. I'm going to write a terrible review right now. I'm getting my Facebook right now. I'm signing up. I'll be sure to read it. Concreta walks Atticus into the vault where Cash is located. So, Concreta, where did you get your name from? That's a dumbass name. <laughs> Funny story. I was conceiving my parents' driveway when my father was laying some concrete. Damn, that's Fresh. wild. Yup. Alright, so... Are you single? Takes a special deal. Special, takes a special dude to deal with you, I imagine. Not that it's any of your business, but I actually just ended a relationship. Damn, you didn't appreciate that, booty? Hell no! <laughs> it was a long distance relationship, and we never saw each other. My knees just weren't being met. Oh, for real? Mike sat in the car waiting for Atticus. <laughs> Mike grew increasingly nervous. Suddenly, Atticus ran towards the car. Mike swung open the passenger door, and Atticus jumped in, and the car sped off. I got the money, bro. And finally! <laughs> but I may have left some evidence. Bro, you had gloves. All of the clothes are new. You completely covered from head to toe. So, the manager was talking a lot of shit. And she was a baddie, too. Mike exhaled. Don't tell. We did it raw, bro. And I don't pull out. And I didn't pull out for some reason. I think I was caught up in the adrenaline of the bank robbery. Yo ass. So she she never hit the side the alarm? Nah, she ended up falling asleep when we finished. Let's dump the car and get out of here. <laughs> Atticus and Mike left the car in an undisclosed location and set the car on fire. Cinder block each his apartment. Remember how you said to go get a job and be somebody? Yo, I do. <laughs> It was yesterday. It was yesterday. So it worked really hard over the course of 24 hours. <laughs> and th- through means, I do do not wish to disclose. But I, uh, suddenly you have large amounts of unmarked cash. We can launder into legitimate businesses, thus setting us up for a financially secure future. Yes! I'm so proud of you. So we can be a happily family. Well, it turns out the pregnancy test was wrong. I'm not pregnant. My doctor confirmed today. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I can keep turning tricks after work. <laughs> after work with my dinner, generic corporate job. Can you say selling pussy for a financial gain? Wow. And. <laughs> <laughs>